Do you realize that with Google's new Opal AI, a single project manager can now automate what used to take an entire operations team? Today I want to show you how to set up three project management automations and the kicker is that hardly any technical knowledge is required. I've spent many weeks wrestling with these other AI automation tools trying to streamline my project management approach. Maybe you can empathize. You see, while I was running my marketing agency, we served SaaS companies all the way from unicorn startups to the largest SaaS company in the world. And I've been shocked at how well Opal can rival some of the project management automations that these teams spent millions of dollars developing. I think this can be super helpful for project managers who are simply looking for an AI solution that can deliver great results time and time again. Did you know that McKinsey predicts that 70% of these kinds of tasks will be automated by 2027? After what you see today, I think you'll agree that moment is a lot closer than most people think. And the easiest way I've found to get to this product is to simply search Opal AI in Google and you will quickly get to this opal.withgoogle.com URL. This is still an experimental product from Google's standpoint. So you can see that Google themselves are running these, you know, micro SaaS tests where they're just seeing what will work and what won't. And when you get to this homepage, you're going to see all these different gallery um, options here. These can be pretty fun to explore and just get a feel for what this tool is capable of. But we're going to jump right here to create new. And what I love about this is just the simplicity of it. All you've got to do is describe in here what you are looking to build and it will go ahead and build that stuff for you using just three very simple nodes here. There's an input node, a generate node or a process node and an output node. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know I've often talked about this IPO process. So input, process, and output. And that is basically just the three steps that you can think of all different processes fitting in. You got to put something in, you got to do something to it, and you've got to generate an output. It's exactly how Opal is uh, designed here. Now I'm going to jump into the cheat sheet. I make a cheat sheet like this for every single video that I create. These are all instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's over 145 in there. So there's a link in the description. Check that out and download this guide. We're going to look at a core project management automation workflow, and this is one big prompt here that goes through this reporting pipeline. So this is the weekly status report generator, and these are all the steps that we want our automation to uh take care of. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this right here into Opal describing, you know, in detail what we want to build. Clicking enter, you can't really see that too well. So I'll go back here and basically show you what we're going to be doing here. There's going to be a data collection node. There's going to be an analysis node. And these are just node is just a fancy word for a different step in the process. We're going to generate some insights, format it correctly and then we're gonna do various distribution models here. So this is run and it has created those five different nodes that we've asked it to. And if we zoom in, this is our yellow, this is our user input node, just asking us to put our project updates for the week. Then we're getting into our first analysis mode and it has built this prompt all on its own saying you're a diligent project analyst. Your role is to meticulously analyze this raw project update. It goes through a bunch of steps that this node will run on the raw input. From here, we go to this next node, which is generating strategic insights. So it passes this off to basically another persona. You can see we've got the different Gemini models here that we can choose from. It has selected Flash for all these, and this should probably work well, but you can obviously switch it to Pro. You can do deep research inside of here. You can create images and even video to some extent. I don't think you can do VO3 quite yet, but I think you can do VO2 in here. So if you have pipelines that you want to create images and videos, you might want to experiment with that. So we're moving from the analysis to the insights to this status update report. And all of this, what was really cool is it was uh, smart enough to chain these together and then know that for this status update, we need access to the outputs of all three of these. So for this node here, I'll zoom in a little bit. It's grabbing here the project updates. So that original raw data that we put in, the analysis and the strategic insights. And then finally, this output step here. And it has elected to generate HTML for a website output, which you may or may not want to do. You might want this to just be a Google 
doc. All right, so let's test this out. I'm just gonna click start and I'm gonna copy and paste in a bunch of data for a project that I am helping out with. We're gonna click run and we're gonna watch this. You can see those lines animating there as things are happening. We're working through these initial steps. We're now into this next step, generating strategic insights. It's kind of like the Kentucky Derby, isn't it? Watching these horses <laughs> run around the track. These AI horses, here we are. We're gonna be getting into this final step here of combining these reports into a website. So the end product here is gonna be some HTML. I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily host that to share that with the world. Okay, so here is the preview of this project status update. And again, we created this whole process just with you know one easy prompt, created this entire process. So let's see if we can share this output. We're going to public here, copy this link. So first you've got to actually share the Opal. So share that automation, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that you could now share this with your team. Uh, but now we're going to copy this share URL. And here we have our status update split into this executive team and client facing documents. And we can share this with the world. You can also download that HTML and upload it into a website like static.run, which I really like for just grabbing HTML and hosting it in one easy place to share it out with the world. And here is the shareable um, Opal, which you can use. And I'll put a link to this in the cheat sheet as well. So you can go ahead and use this right away without even having to rebuild it. All right, so moving right along to this team allocation optimizer workflow. I'm gonna just grab these different uh, instructions here and copy this into a new Opal here. So I've found that if you give it a bunch of information, it can really knock it out of the park. And this one basically looks at the current team analysis, looks at demand forecasting, optimizes you know, to get the most utility out of the team and generates an output. We're gonna see the same at the beginning and the end, these input and output nodes. And what happens in the middle is the magic here. Here's our team allocation optimizer. And this is just beautiful, the way that this works. This is now actually pulling in some of the more um, agentic uh, functionality where it can now go out and search the web. It can look at uh, Google Maps. It can get weather. It can get web pages. So those are all different uh, abilities that these AI nodes can do. And you can see these are all strung together in a complex way, which the other tools have really struggled with. A lot of the other tools out there claim to be able to let you describe your process in natural language and have it build a complex and complete and functional uh, automation. But uh, this is the first time I've actually seen it work. So with this one, instead of generating a web page like we did the last time, I'm gonna do a Google Slides. So let's generate Google Slides here. All right, so let's try this team allocation optimizer. Here's the information about the team and the current state that I'm gonna be dropping in. You can see it can handle quite a lot of information. Copying that in here, so that'll go into this first node. Now it's asking for the project demands. Here's the project demand data. Tossing that right in, and now it's looking for these different constraints. Dropping that in and we're gonna hit go. You can see in this console button that it has gone through and it, where it is working now on this analysis. Searching the web. All right, so now we have these slides and the content is good and the thought process is good. But what might be jumping out to you is that the design is terrible. You're gonna get fired if you show your boss these slides. So. One thing that I love to do is to download these and we're gonna pull these into Gamma because Gamma has a new feature where you can um, just generate from what's already been created. So we're gonna upload this. I downloaded it as a PowerPoint slide. We're gonna open it here. We're in presentation mode. You could do a web page here as well, document or social media. We're gonna keep this in presentation mode. And there's so many options you can choose from here with all of the different ways you wanna show the text and the theme, and you can plug in all your branding, etc. cetera. Uh, you can pick the different AI that you want to create the images. Let's go with line art for this one and let's generate it. Much, much, much better. 
Look at how great that looks now. So we went from garbage, <laughs> basically just using Opal to create the raw data of the slides here to this really cool, sharp looking deck here with these line generated images and talking about the challenges here of Alice's PTO, uh, beta back end shortfalls, different things like this. So this is a major theme of this channel, not just using one AI tool, but chaining multiple tools together. And in that way, you are following the blazing zebra way. Blazing, we gotta move fast. Zebra, we've gotta embrace our own unique strengths, our own unique points of view in order to make this AI pivot successful. So everything we've done up until this point has been simply describing what we wanna build and letting Opal create the automation for us. But I think it's pretty easy to just do a manual version here where we're generating our own input and our own AI process here and our output. And if you've done any prompting at all, you can really start to realize that this is fairly easy to do. So what I wanna do now is create a, uh, a tool that basically takes the uh, transcript from the Tuesday calls. In my Patreon, I have a Tuesday discussion circle. So if you're interested in hopping on a Zoom call with me and a handful of people and just geeking out about AI, going over um, you know different things that have happened that week, that's in the Patreon. But one other thing I wanna do is take the transcript from that call and turn it into cool social media updates. So this starts with this input node, this call transcript, then it goes into this uh, AI generate node, which generates these five ideas. And this part of the prompt is automatically generated by Opal, just reminding it that it's part of an AI system and it doesn't start with with any chit chat just getting right to the output. So that needs to be in there and it should be in there by default. And so the prompt I put in here says, from the call transcript above, please generate five ideas for posts on X, formerly Twitter. These will eventually become threads or tweet storms. Your job is to simply create five ideas. Each idea should be unique from the others with little overlap. So it takes the call transcript, generates these five ideas, and then we go into this next generate. So this is another AI node, and you can see it starts the same way, just reminding it that it's part of an AI system, so it's not a chat bot, because you can get problems if there's, uh, you know, if it just starts chatting in here. You just want it to generate the output, and again, this should automatically be in there when you you fire up that node. So the, the only prompt I put in here is take idea number one from the five ideas and create a tweet storm based on the information in the call transcript in the style and formatting of the example tweet storm. So that I found to be very, very helpful. Instead of trying to describe the tone and voice and how you want it to work, you just give it some examples, which I've done here in this tweet storm example. So this is adding assets node. And here's just three complete tweet storm examples that would resonate with solopreneurs aligned with my Blazing Zebra brand. So again, we're gonna put in the call transcript. We're gonna generate five ideas. This is gonna grab the first idea and create a tweet storm based on that. And then this is gonna dump it into a Google Doc. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. It's looking for our transcript, dropping that in here. And it has generated this really cool tweet storm. Are you practicing AI monogamy? Which is really cool going into the fact that you should be using different tools, not just focusing on one tool for everything. And this is formatted without getting too deeply into it exactly how I want. My next step here is to train an agent to actually take it from this document and put it on X. I think Manus could probably handle that pretty well. I'll save that for another video. Because now that we've done the one tweet storm, I know that we could do five really easy. And one cool thing that I found is if you hover over one of these nodes and you just do copy and click off of it, paste. Now we got a copy of that. And I'm gonna say, instead of taking idea number one, we're gonna say, take idea number two from that five ideas. And we're gonna pipe this into the output. And you can see that automatically wires everything up perfectly to um, do exactly what we wanna do. So we can just create this, copy and paste it again, wire it up again. Say we're gonna, we're gonna take idea number three 
and so on and so forth. So this will now take all five of those ideas, create a tweet storm around five very different ideas, and dump that into a Google Doc formatted exactly how I want them formatted. And that's been working great. Here is this 17-page document with five tweet storms, all exactly how I would want them to be better than I could actually do them uh, from that call transcript. I'm getting ready to just post those, copy and paste them into Twitter. There is a ton more in this cheat sheet. Uh, we get into all sorts of use cases for project management specifically that you can experiment with. But again, like I mentioned, Opal is just one of many tools that are very valuable for project managers. Claude is another one, especially Claude Projects. I get a lot of use out of Claude Projects in my project management life, and I've got a video all about that right here. I will see you over there next. Make your dreams come true.